Isaiah 40 and verse 31 stands as one of the most encouraging verses of all the Bible. Here's what it reads. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Back 11 years ago, time of this video, I had a heart transplant, a wonderful gift of life. But as you can assume, with any transplant prior to that, there was a great failure. I had lived for about six years at least in stage four heart failure, and I was really struggling every day. The simple things in life were near impossible. For example, I would wake up in the morning. If I took a shower, I'd be wiped out and have to take a nap for two hours. Moreover, if I ever ate a meal, breakfast, or lunch, I usually just skipped because just the process of digesting was too overwhelming for my body. And again, a two-hour nap would be required. There were many days when I slept 16 to 18 hours a day. And even if I was awake, I had no energy to do anything really but lay around on the recliner and watch TV. It was not a very profitable existence. It was not at all fun. I wasn't able to run and play with my family. I wasn't able to do the things that I had always dreamt that I would do, particularly with my children. And it was just a struggle from the moment I woke up until I pillowed my head and even in between. But over the process of time, I learned to really, quote, wait upon the Lord. Now, when you and I think about the word wait, oftentimes in our English language, our vernacular, the way we describe that, you would describe waiting as the passing of time. You know, you wait in the doctor's office, you wait in the restaurant, you wait in traffic sometimes, and generally that wait comes with just a bit of frustration, to be honest. But that's not exactly the meaning of the biblical word here from the Old Testament. Here, the idea of wait doesn't have anything to do with kind of resting things out. That would probably be the most positive way to wait, just take a nap. But it doesn't have anything to do with resting as much as it has to do with relying on God. Giving everything over to God, relying on God for your everything and not relying on self. That was the most important thing. Many of those years when I was sick and continuing to, to fail and getting closer and closer, it seemed to death, waiting on that heart transplant, I kind of tried to do it all for myself. I tried, if you will, in some senses to light my own fire and to keep myself going and burning every day. And I wasn't able to do that anymore. And so I really got gotten frustrated and discouraged and downtrodden and even depressed. But at the moment, I learned to really lean into and lean on God, to stand upon God for my everything. It really changed everything in turn. So I want to encourage you today with this passage just to rest on and wait upon God, but really to rely upon Him for everything. You see, the promise of this verse is very clear, is that is the Lord will, quote, renew our strength. He will have us, if you will, to mount up with wings as eagles. He will have us to run without being weary, have, have us to walk without being faint. Now, certainly that can be attested in my life to the way my physical life changed, but it's not anything to do with that here. It's the idea of our spiritual lives, the lives that really matter, far above the physical, the emotional, the financial. You could put all those old type of lives in. Your spiritual life matters most. And at the moment you determine to lean on to and to wait upon God and let him do things in the process of his power and not yours, you'll be so much better off. Thank you for joining me again today on The Passage. We'll see you tomorrow. And until next time, stay faithful, my friend.